Hello everyone, so picking off where we last were, so I obviously have enough money now for the uh, vault area, so I will be getting that done today. I'm also going to be going fishing, and as per usual, checking the weather, sunny tomorrow, boo, I wanted another rainy day. <laughs> the spirits are just, uh, displeased, so not diseased, they're not going to make my life very happy today. Uh, I have a ton of stuff to harvest, so I'm going to do that. I'm also going to take this pumpkin to Caroline. Unfortunately, it is a not regular quality, so I kind of lose a bit of money there, but that's okay. It is worth it because of the friendship that we able to get. Yes, friendship. And obviously, I don't have to water anything today because it's raining. Woohoo! So, I am going to sell this stuff. And... Right. Oh, that was good. Okay. Okay. We're good. And I need a bunch of gold bars. Unfortunately, I wasn't thinking, and I should have had those going as well. And I also need one of those. I'm going to hang on to this stuff so that I can make another Everdeem bar. Oh, uh, not Everdeem bar. Everdeem sprinkler. Oh, I apparently missed a couple of corn here. I will take care of the animals who are inside. We have mayonnaise as well. Hello, hello. Chicky looks really happy today. Hi, Callie. Had Yuki in the last video, now we have Callie. <laughs> Hi. Meow. Okay, so that's a duck egg. I'm going to get the duck mayonnaise going. So the timing of everything is actually really fantastic right now. Because we just got the skull key in the last video, and that means that I can get a lot of more iridium ore. Which means that I can get... Uh, well, a lot of iridium sprinklers. Which means... A lot more... Easy... Planting! Crops! Etc! watering, so on and so forth. The only thing that's going to slow us down is the battery packs. But once we make a lot of money, uh, that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, okay, I can actually sell this. So I'm going to take this uh, to Caroline. I guess I'm going to take that to Clint's. So we'll go ahead to town first. It's going to take a while for the gold ore I mean, gold bar to be ready. I think it takes four hours in game, so we have a while to wait. And if I get slowed down with getting the battery packs, then I will just go to the mines and mine a whole bunch of iron ore. Uh, because I will need that for making quality sprinklers, because I don't believe I have a lot of it. I'm going to check the beach since it's been a while since I've done so. And it's, if you're wondering, it's not quite time yet for me to be able to go fishing uh, for the walleye. It's not available until 12 p.m. and in between 12 p.m. and 2 a.m. So we won't go to the vault until after I've caught the walleye or our walleye, too, if I'm lucky, because uh, no sense making two trips. And one more. Hopefully our foraging level's up soon as well. And that's kind of what I do in the winter time. I also kind of work on the foraging, because if you get the winter foraging seeds, then you can do that. Okay, so it is almost time to go fishing. Why are you in the rain? And reading? Your book is getting wet, you silly person. Okay, so this is my fishing spot. That it will be my, well, fishing spot. <laughs> and I'm just going to reorganize everything. I also can talk to Caroline now that I think of it. Uh, and her house is literally right here. And apparently I have a cutscene. Oh, 
Oh, hi, Celebrian. Sebastian and I were just having a little jam session. We're trying to start a band, but we still don't know what kind of music to make. There's too many possibilities. Say, Celebrian, what kind of music do you like? Uh, and there are the options of cheerful pop music, experimental noise rock, high energy dance music, or honky tonky country music. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go with high energy dance music this time. I can't remember what I usually go with. I usually go with just that one because just, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> it doesn't matter which selection you have because you'll find out later. Hey, you know what? That's exactly the kind of style I've been thinking about for the band. What do you say, Sebastian? Should we do this? Okay. Thanks for the help, Slyrian. With my guitar skills and Sebastian's wizardry on the synthesizer, we're going to be a screaming success. I'm convinced of it. Now, I just need to find someone to play drums. Hi, I'm a percussionist. Oh, right. We're, we, 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 we want to talk to her. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Who are you? Jody, you're not the right person. Caroline's in Pierre's house. I'm stupid. Okay. We will figure that out later. <laughs> Fishing! And I fail. That was unfortunate. I had a chest and a fish. Well, I didn't get either. <laughs> Woohoo! Finally caught a walleye. Now let's catch another one. Yay! Got another one and a chest, and it's just a geode. Okay, we got what we needed. Uh, we'll stop at Pierre's and hopefully find Caroline there. Caroline, Caroline, whatever. Uh, I think it's George's birthday. Nope, it's George's birthday tomorrow. Uh, nope, I'm not going to give you an eel, even if you're bored. And there is the person that we were looking for. Oh, the pumpkin. It's a good one. Abigail will be so happy when she sees this. Thanks, Celebrian. My garden is happy today. And our water bill will be lower this month. Yay! Craving pumpkins. 500 gold. Huzzah. So, now heading to the community center to finish the vault bundle and also that fish bundle. Fishy bundle. Fishy, fishy, fishy. And that's this one here. Bundle complete. And we got a small glow ring. Emits a small constant light. Ooh, totally what we need. Uh, considering we already have one, so thanks for nothing. You useless reptile. Ahem. Nope. Yep. So the vault, we'll do this one first, and we get three chocolate cake, and the 10,000 one, and we get a lightning rod. Well, that's perfect. I'll place that on the farm right away. And the Junimos do the little thing. And... We're happy to help. It's not our house, after all. It's all fixed. Ta-da! And then another star will be there. And I'm broke. <laughs> Until this stuff is sold, but anyway. So that's there. And it's obviously the music still playing inside, but I want to get that lightning rod uh, placed right away so that I can... Hopefully the lightning will actually hit it so that I can get a lightning rod going uh, to get a battery pack. There we go. That's what I'm trying to spit out. <laughs> I also... Well, I meant to actually check to see which fish I need for, and there is that. I will place one in there. I will make my Iridium sprinkler. As I was saying, I meant to actually look up which fish I need for cooking and stuff, but I haven't done that, so everything is being sold, including that. And I will start more of these, since I have tons of them. 
Uh, yeah, see, I only have that much iron ore, so that's not a whole lot. I am going to place that there, place this up here, get this placed, reorganize this stuff. Takes so much effort. <laughs> Okay, getting this placed, so I'll place it down here, along with the other ones. Hopefully it gets hit. And I'm actually going to take the Iridium Sprinkler and put it into the greenhouse. So that I have it in this area and there. And I will put my strawberries up here. I'm not worried about that corner, but I might as well place the sprinklers there anyway. So as you can see, I have a lot of sprinklers now that I can actually use outdoors as well. Because I should have some extras. I have two extra. Not a whole lot, but it's better than nothing. I'm going to yank those as well. Place those down there and get that going. So I just have one more strawberry to run through. As you can see, it doesn't take much time at all. So I don't leave these as the same plants the whole season. I usually run it through something else and I'm actually going to keep that seed. And I'm going to run this through the seed maker. Hopefully it gives me more than one. It gave me two. Perfect. I'll plant those. And I'm not going to worry about watering them, so I'm going to actually place these other sprinklers outside. And they still have their spots basically here because they haven't, oops, haven't lost them. So that's awesome. So that also means less watering in the morning. So that's placed. So I just have these crops basically, these and this stuff. I didn't mean to pick that up, but okay. <laughs> we will go ahead and sell that. And those are still going. They. Oh. Those aren't still going. There we go. Should actually put those in there. I'm going to put the cake in here for now. No. Yes, I am. Okay, pine tar I will put where it needs to be. Along with clay. This goes in here. So because I have some time and some energy, I'm going to go around and chop some trees. And clear up some of this debris that's forming. So before it gets much later, I'm going to head to bed after I deposit these things in here and the sap in here. I don't think I'm going to make it to my bed before it's one. Oh, and I did. Kudos to me. And as you can see, the Junimals are doing a little thing at the bus stop for some apparent reason. What's that mean? We will find out in the next video. Mwahaha. <laughs> and our fishing level went up. Awesome sauce. Yes, awesome sauce. And we made almost our money back. Actually, we made more than our money back because that's basically all that we had at the... before we gave it to the vault. And so that's the breakdown of everything. And... We made quite a bit of money on the catfish there. As you can see, we caught four of them. And worth 12.48 in total. And the other is algae in glass shards. And actually, once again, should have kept the algae, but I was just selling stuff because I didn't want to have to think about it. <laughs> okay, so what interesting stuff will happen today? Well, we have the bus available and the weather for tomorrow is going to be sunny fortune teller we're going to have a little extra luck so that's nice because we're going to be going to a certain place today we have stuff that is ready to harvest and i'm going to hang on to the grapes 
uh, for reasons that we will find out later. If you're wondering why I kind of cut, well, I was stupidly thinking that I'd already recorded two days. <laughs> I hadn't. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly take care of the cats, or the animals. Uh, I forgot to feed you guys. Oopsies. This is why I want to upgrade the barn sooner than later along with the coop so I don't have to keep feeding them every day. They will automatically do so with the thingy the thing of a thing over there. And I will clear up some of this to get more hay. Okay, so we have one battery ready, which is ironic because that was the very last one that was placed. Uh, we don't have any more iridium ore to use to get more. And I'm actually going to hang on to all of these grapes. It is a certain George's birthday. So we're going to go find George and give him a gift. And before we do anything, buy a ticket to Calico Desert for 500 gold. Well, we'll do that in a little bit because you'll see why. Good morning, Pat. Hey, did you hear about the old bus? Yep, I'm back in the saddle, kid. Hee <laughs> hee, feels nice. Pam's got his car job back. Yay! Okay, George, where are ya? George, I got a present for ya. Oh, is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks, this is nice. And just like that, we have four stars with him because it's one of his favorite uh, gifts and because it's his birthday. Uh, no, I don't want to eat that. This is cool. Thanks. And we still only have six hearts with him, but do we have a cutscene in here? No, we don't. Probably not until the next day, spring something. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to head over here. And if we're lucky, we'll get uh, more than one few things done today. Hello, Pam. So, buy a ticket to Calico Desert for 500 gold. Yes. As you can see, we're in a desert. And the first thing I'm going to do, and I usually do this, is I run around collecting any forageables and using the right tool to actually get said forageables. And awesome, we got one of those that we actually do need. And this. Uh, so this is an artifact that these are only found in this area. And you can see we have cactuses and what looks like palm trees and coconuts and we also have cactus fruit and no a seed of coconut palm that you can't use for planting to get a coconut tree or anything like that which is kind of unfortunate be kind of cool if you did but you also see there's a little building down here well we're going to go into said building in just a moment or two but first as i said i am going to run around and get all the forgeables which seems i just finished doing so we're going to head into this lovely little building down over here. Hello, building. And we have a little cutscene. Ah, a customer? Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis. Hey, you look like the new farmer that Emily wrote to me about. Then the bus line to Stardew Valley is back in service? Oh, I'm so happy. Smiley face. Smiley face. <laughs> and you look parched. So we have cactus seeds, which is why I'm going to buy one for the pot thingy that's in... Uh, I was going to buy that. Uh, a few of them, actually. Uh, and as you can see, she also sells the beet seeds, which we obviously don't need, and the Omni Geodes, which I'm not going to buy right now, but I will eventually. And we also have star fruit seeds, which I am going to buy a bunch of right now. And rhubarb seeds, which I can also plant in the thingy. 
uh, stuff, reasons, speaking. I'll buy more of these some other time, but I have one for the flower pot. That's the word I'm speaking, trying to spit out. Hi. Uh, okay, that's all he says. Eventually, he will say something else. But there's another reason why we want to come here, and that's besides fishing. Uh, so the reason why I want the cactus fruit, because you see how much energy and health it gives us. Yeah, and you compare it to the grapes here. <laughs> I honestly forgot about them, which is kind of sad. So if I fish in here, we can get the sandfish. If we're lucky. Otherwise, we'll just get junk. Or LJ. And just like that, I caught a fat sandfish. Woohoo! Now to catch one more so I can put it into the community center, and then the other one I will be selling. And I was thinking of a different fish. The sandfish is actually pretty easy to catch. It's like the small mouth baths in the other areas. So we caught one for the community center and one to sell. Perfect. Now we have another reason to come over here. Look at here. Look at that. What's that on the door? A skull, you say? You insert the skull key into the keyhole. It's a perfect fit. And now we have nothing in our journal. And you see... Uh, no, we don't want to use that. <laughs> that could have been dangerous really fast. Okay. So, you see if we have a bunch of my... my, my, my those. Yes. Well, uh... I'm just going to run around and ignore them. Because even if you kill them, they kind of just respawn anyway. But... Yes, we have another mining kind of sort of area. But it's not like your regular kind of sort of mining area. This is where you get iridium ore. A lot of iridium ore. Much, 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 much lots of iridium ore. And yes, these guys are kind of dumb. So they don't... If you're off the screen, they won't chase you. Let's see. I'm hoping to get some more iridium ore. To get some more... Sprinklers going. So I can use those quality sprinklers that are in my greenhouse for... Uh, the outside. As you can see, they started chasing me there. And this is also why I need to upgrade my pickaxe. <laughs> so I probably will be doing that as well, but I believe I need iron ore, so I'll have to go to the mines to get that. There's also a reason why I've kept all the consumables, because the monsters here hurt. And unfortunately I don't have the best sword for this area yet, nor is my combat level uh, completely up. So that means killing things can be quite interesting, but because of the skills that I went with, and don't pay too much attention to how they are right now, if you've messed up in your own game, uh, but with what my skills are, uh, critical hits will make it very fast. And so, unlike the mines with this one... Oh, that was lucky. There's a shaft uh, leading down. Jump in, do nothing. So, unlike with mines, your progress is not saved. There is no elevators. Uh, so it's a resetting mine area every single time. And so there's also shafts in addition to ladders, and the shafts can drop anywhere from 1 to, I think it's 15 floors. And we see we fell 3 floors. And of course it's a big one. So there's also my great favorite uh, giant flying things and giant slimes. I'm probably going to take a ladder down. Uh, yeah, see, these are the flying things that I absolutely hate even more than the insects. Because they hurt like a bugger. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. But I'm gonna take a ladder down. Uh, not a ladder. Uh, one of these staircase, because this is a really big floor and I don't want to spend all that time. And then there's also these bugs. There is literally no known way to actually kill them. So how you kill them? Good luck! Unfortunately there's 
Doesn't look like there's any, any iridium ore here either, so I'm gonna take another staircase. Because I don't want to have to deal with those big slimes. And we have a ghost. And mummies. And no iridium ore, so I'm just gonna head out. But this is where we get iridium ore. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna have much luck to get anything today. And I'm gonna, not gonna attempt it because I'm not very strong to handle that just yet. So we're gonna actually head back to the town. And if you're wondering, no, you don't have to worry about when the boss is here because it's going to be here all the time. It is here until you leave, basically. And make note that if you do pass out, it'll act just like if it's not your house on the farm, you will be penalized. And if you happen to pass out in the mine itself, you may lose things. So, what advice? Don't do it! <laughs> so pay attention to the time. And as you progress in the game, there is a item that will make things significantly easier. Uh, come to think of it, I need to become friends with a certain wizard soonish. So, we're going to finish another bundle. And I think this finishes the fish tank. It does indeed. So, this one's going here. And this also finishes something else. And we get Dish of the Sea, which I will be needing for fishing later on. Not anytime soon, but now we have a Junos doing their thing again. So many wonderful bundles! Thank you! Thank you! And now the fishing tank is done. So the only things that are left is the bulletin board. And this down here, which needs the winter foraging. And that's it. And as you can see, there's four stars, two left to go. Ooh, and we have another Junimo following us. Whee! <laughs> and without further ado, I'm gonna head to the farm. Okay, so first I'm gonna get that stuff done in the greenhouse. And then I'm going to water everything elsewhere. And I just have the realization that I don't think I actually took care of the ducks. And the chickens. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> it's a good thing I remembered that, otherwise I would have lost out on collecting some of this stuff. Because they would have been hungry. Uh, whoops. In the morning. There we go. And obviously I didn't pet them, but that's okay. Uh, so we have duck mayonnaise as well, so I'm gonna sell that as well. And I should make sure I've taken care of the cows. I fortunately have. And I've got stuff from them. Okay, so I'm gonna plant... Uh, this here. I have to make sure I water it. And I have a bunch of stuff. The coconut is going in here. And so is the algae. And the rest is out here somewhere. I will need to take this to Gunther in the next video. And going to sleep. And we see, again, the Junibos doing something. And we made just shy of 7,000 gold. And 17,000, almost 18,000. As per usual, checking the weather report, it's going to be cloudy. Uh, we have a little extra luck today and living off the land. Winter's coming soon and that means your farming operations will be coming to a halt. No crops grow in winter unless you're lucky enough to have a greenhouse. But there's still plenty to do. More next time. And so I have to remember to... Oh, we have sweet gem berries ready. Woohoo! So that's other fun stuff to do today. We have some mail, uh, grapes ready, corn ready, 
chickens, ducks, uh, other stuff. I have to remember to water this and get these, start them again. This should be ready soon. We'll see what that is in a little while. And it's Thursday, so nothing else really of importance is happening, but otherwise, uh, this time, <laughs> I know I've done it just right this time. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching.